Hey YouTube, welcome back to another episode. I'm Louis, and this week I'm in the climbing hangar in Exeter, shiny new gym, and uh, should be a pretty exciting episode. I've got, I've been given an exclusive copy of uh, Stian Christofferson and Martin Mulbatten. Uh, I've written a new book called The Climbing Bible. Uh, they're the two fellows who created the 9C strength climbing test. I've done a video on that as well, so you can check that out uh, uh, elsewhere on the channel if you want. But this new book called The Climbing Bible is full of loads and loads of fun drills and exercises. You know how much I love fun drills and exercises, so I was going to try a few of them out today, and I'm joined by a couple of guests. We have Alex Waterhouse. <laughs> nice! <laughs> From the Truth nice Team. Net. Hello, buddy. And Hannah Morris. Pow! <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> they were there the whole time. <laughs> Hello, Hannah. Ten out of ten. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, back up there. No, it's fine. Um, so, yeah, we're going to get on with these drills, and uh, wish us luck. Have some fun. Yeah. Okay, so, first drill, yeah. I think we should try the one called Copycat. I think you probably do this sort of stuff anyway, but we're going to go around, pick a climb, probably all climb it slightly differently, and then we're going to see what we can learn from climbing it in each other's methods. Perfect. I, don't know, I think it's going to be pretty fun. Yeah. I, I think this, um, this pick one will be a pretty good one to try first. Yeah. It's got like a bit of a bit of confidence on how you could do it. Yeah. Um, this is going to go first. You go first. I bet you've got a good well, idea. I did it. Am I, am I just climbing? I, 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 uh, let's start with just climb it as you normally would, um, and we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens. So I think if you did it dynamically, it wouldn't be detrimental. Okay. You can do it slowly. I think yeah. it'd be easier to do it faster. Yeah. Everything's easier with dynamic movement. No, 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 even slow. Yeah. She did do it static. <laughs> Go on, go on, go on, huh? Get better. Oh, she didn't even do better. There we go. Got a new one. Yeah, it looks like the same as the This is like a little bit of a slip. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty good, man. Pretty good, pretty good. what I did on my first go earlier. I, I tried to get the heel on thinking it'd be safer because my arm was in the way of trying to yeah, do the straddle I and I killed off it. Full. It's hard. To most climbs, I think. It's just good, good advice for life, isn't yeah. it? But first, go on, Hannah. Yeah. Go on, Hannah. Yeah. Go on, No, no, that definitely counts. I'm going to take it. <laughs> okay, so, 
Very interesting to do yeah. then. So, okay, Alex and I went dynamic for the first move, so you've yeah. got to try that. Okay. And we both need to do static. Yeah. I don't think it's that different, but I did left foot on this and you both did right. So I think if you're swinging, you um, the swing, then it makes more sense because you're left foot hits the left first, that's yeah. why. So, um, so maybe that makes sense if you're doing a dynamic and you land left foot there. So I've got to do right foot, so it's yeah. a pretty small difference. And then, <laughs> we've only had two options for the top, haven't we? Yeah. There's your so option, which is in the straddle. Yeah. And so, We've got to do the straddle. And you would do what first? <laughs> I'll turn that first. Okay, okay. So static you do the static, static first, first move, first then left foot up, and then you're going for yeah, butt first and finish. Go on. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice with the turbo, right? Yeah, it would, if it wasn't there, it'd be a horrible method. I think when you're doing this sort of exercise, it's it's really, really good not just to copy each other and try out the different methods, but like we're doing, actually talking about, oh, why did we do it differently? What is different about your method? It sounded like there was going to be another sentence there, but there isn't. It's the end. <laughs> First move, go big. You got it. If you can do it statically, you're easily going to be able to do it dynamically. It's loads harder slowly. Good thing you're doing this drill with us. Go on, Hannah. Come on. Left over and catch with like left hand first, then right. Give the old one two. Okay. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Dude! <laughs> Yeah, I can use that. <laughs> okay. Nice. Nice. Dude, it's terrible. Come on, we go. There we go. Oh, I'll try and get both feet at once. Yeah. What well, kick it? I was going to handstand into it. Hannah, do you want to go? Oh, that's a much better yeah, idea. Yeah. You know you're good for it. No, okay. you, you got it. I'm going for drop kick. So, wait, you don't have to do both at the same time. I mean, I, I think we should set the rules we do it. I think you should. Time. So, I need to redo it. Yeah, kick it and then I'm going to be not that easy. I'm going to be the best. But it's really cool for us. Kick it. Come on. Nice. So okay. Yeah, no, you're not. Come on, yeah. Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, cool. Now, not allowed to put, you put your feet wherever you like, not allowed to grab anything that's touch it with your foot first. Nice. Try to walk the feet into position where yeah. she can keep her foot on and tap the hole. Whereas you sort oh, of you would cut and put them up, yeah. so that makes it a lot more of a core exercise, but maybe less of a technique thing. But so I'm, go I'm gonna try I'm gonna try it um, trying not to cut at all. Ooh. That might be interesting. Okay, so nice. you've got a line. So this, use the hole. this is what I really like about this like functional style of strength training to climbing is that if you do it really, really well, it's actually a little bit less strength training, but you become a better climber. Um, or if you do it really, really badly, like I was, <laughs> then you just get really, really strong. Instead. Oh, you can pull on! Go on! So someone's got to do the, the double kick for the, the hole and kick. catch. At the same time? That's, that's what like you're apparently about to, to try and do. This is Louis territory. I'm joking, but here we go. <laughs> go on, kick, hit it and catch it. Oh my god! It is, but I do is think it, it's possible. Is it actually possible? 
Are you sure? Because now standing here, I'm not sure it's no, possible. It looks a bit silly from there. <laughs> it looks really silly. Nah, you got it, you got it. I don't believe it. I, no, I can, I'm sure I can kick it and then land on my head. Well, that's fine. Alright. It's all content, isn't it? <laughs> Get in there. Alright. Fine. Oh, I got one. Oh, man. <laughs> go on, you try again. <laughs> I'm not going to try it again. No, no I, don't so, know if I, yeah. I don't know if I got the left. No, no, no. Yeah, I didn't kick the left. No, zero points. Not enough to start. Oh. Let's stop this nonsense. Yeah, let's let's try other nonsense. Yeah, let's try the wine. Let's try the wine. Okay, well, I'm going to carry on with the pure course drink. That's fine. Not yeah, much I technique method. This is probably going to cut the feet this time. Where's it start? Oh, no. oh, wait a minute. <laughs> there we go. That seems worthwhile. <laughs> it was. Nice. I'm doing my course strength training. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Oh, hello. Being a lot more it's an on the hands and the eye. Yeah. Well, you hold on for a lot longer, but you also have to squeeze them really tightly and use them in weird angles that you wouldn't normally. Oh, someone else go. Oh, God. <laughs> I've got enough for trading now. Go on. Yeah, that works. Do you want to stop? You did, you did really good technique training before, but yeah, now do it yeah. with the non-technique method for more strength. Maybe I shouldn't have suggested that. No, I think it's a good suggestion. No, you're right suggesting. Here we go. Big strong time. Strong. Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah, once you get onto that move section, I'll try and, like, I reckon purposely cut them. Yeah. <laughs> 
to do it just properly. I've not done the actual no, no, exercise, we've just spent a lot of time kicking around in the start. Like If you've, if you've done a lot of the boulders that you can do in the wall, yeah. I think you're going back around again and doing it like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give that, you a little bit more value. That's the other thing in terms of like core strength training. I think the thing I really enjoy about like on the wall style drills is compared to just doing leg raises from a bar, as you can see from all the nonsense we've ended up doing, you actually get like a lot of scope for just creativity and fun. So yeah, I'd pick this a hundred times out of a hundred if it was this or leg raises on a bar. Yeah, go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's it. Kick him up. Go on. More swing. More swing. Yeah. Swing from low, and then put up the arms as you go. That was so good. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Ah, oh, you're getting it though. Because that's what's really good. Is like this is how you also learn the yeah. movements of getting our feet back on and things like that. Yeah, generating momentum with your legs. It's not like you're in prison. It's quite loud. <laughs> Draw number three. Uh, this one was actually in the kids game section but I reckon it's actually gonna have a lot of fun, challenging stuff for us. Um, the drone called for us to have carabiners attached to our feet. We thought we'd make it even harder by <laughs> attaching our keys to our shoes. So, I think we've made this way too hard. I think it will. <laughs> I think it can, okay. it can work. Aim is do a climb without jangling the keys. But listen to how loud I am just walking over. <laughs> okay. I've got for a really easy one, so I think it's going to be quite hard. Okay, so from from when the key leaves the ground, right? I sort of two. Well, I'm moving very slowly. I'm doing it on a very easy climb. <laughs> I know, I know, it's a very slow know. climb. I'm trying my best. <laughs> jangle, jangle, jangle. All right, here we go. Someone else have a try. <laughs> <laughs> Is that exercise? <laughs> go on. I'll move it. Uh, like oh, 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 I'm not jingle. Carry on anyway, maybe the rest of the time. Yeah. Quite tricky, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think. Um, while I was doing it, I was like, what am I learning by doing this? And then watching you do it, I was like, oh. <laughs> so it's basically just removing all momentum from our climbing. Yeah. And then you have to do everything with complete control. And normally you use quite a lot of momentum, even without realizing, just stepping from one foothold to another. And learn quite a lot by not allowing yourself to do that. Well, I reckon it's going to be really good. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I was like, oh, yeah, let's definitely do the thing. Then I put the keys on. I was like, ooh, I'm actually going to do this green jug better. <laughs> Yeah. 
through a few different drills, we had loads of fun, some of them insanely hard, some of them just really interesting and fun and creative. Uh, what was your favourite? What was your favourite one? I, I like copycat a lot, it's something I do in the gym a lot, to try lots of different beaters, that's like one of the things I like about one. Yeah, so many different ones. Oh, me too. I love that one. How about you, Hannah? So, I think I did enjoy the copycat the most, yeah? just because I really like the boulder and tried the That's a good boulder. But I think, for me, the most kind of like interesting one to take forward into my own training would be, I'm forgetting the Oh, uh, they call it marking in the climbing board. So the, the second drill that we did called marking, which is kind of like a core exercise. And I like immediately went for trying to keep my feet on all the time because I don't particularly like yeah. to cut loose and then leg raise. But then when I tried it that way, I figured out that actually that's probably a big area of improvement. Well, I think same as you two, I really enjoyed the copycat drill because yeah. I think that's such a good one to do exactly as, that as, you, exactly as you're both saying. Yeah. Um, but same as what you're going for, the one I think would help me improve the most is actually yeah. that jingly keys one on the heels yeah. so that it's for kids because I love climbing with momentum, it's one of my favourite ways to move and you can't in that drill so you have to learn a load of other stuff instead so oh, I think that would be my favourite. So you're going to all have to get that book yourselves folks, um, click just below there'll be a link to the website where you can find out a little bit more about it and in the meantime see you all next week, uh, click below, subscribe, hit the YouTube like buttons, whatever the YouTube things are, bye, see you bye. next time.